Hello everyone and welcome to my Substance Painter Basics tutorial. This tutorial is going to be mainly tailored to the basics for retexturing my avatars and it's going to be for people who haven't ever used Substance Painter before or uh, just need a little bit of a refresher. So before we start, just know that I'm going to put some timestamps in so if you want to skip ahead, um, feel free to do so. Okay, to start off, I uh, just wanted to let you all know that I'm using version 7.4.1, but this tour tutorial should be good for some of the older versions as well. Okay, the first thing we're going to go over is how to open a file. So we're going to go all the way up here to File, and then select Open. I'm going to be opening a sample though. So I'm going to use Meat Mat. Alright, so let's go over the general layout of Substance Painter. Substance Painter is pretty similar to a lot of other uh, programs that you may have used before, specifically Photoshop, uh, GIMP, or Photopea. To the left here, you have your brush, your eraser, and a couple of other tools that may be familiar. To the right of that, we have our asset libraries. So right now we're in the material asset libraries, but if we select this drop down here, we can see all of them, including our brushes, alphas, and some other ones. At the top, we have our size adjuster for our brush, flow, stroke opacity, some other ones, and then in an important one right here is the symmetry. Then if we go over here we have some of the render buttons and here is an important one right here. So if you don't know how Substance Painter works you can either texture in the 3D mode which is the window to the left or the 2D mode which is the window to the right. So this allows you to turn on and off those windows. So right now we're in 3D and 2D mode. We can go into just 3D mode if we would like, just 2D mode, or 3D and 2D. So for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to stay in 3D and 2D mode. To the right of that is the texture set list. So depending on how the UVs are done, um, you can have multiple different texture sets for um, a model. So this one has three, the head, body, and base. In order to texture on a texture set, it needs to be selected. So if you want to texture on the head, you have to be selected, you have to have the head selected. So if you want to texture on the body, select the body. Now we can texture on it. To turn on and off texture sets, hit the I button. And then right below that we have our layers. So because this is a sample scene and there are no layers other than this base one, um, you're not going to see anything in here yet. But if you're opening up one of my model files, then you're going to see all of the different layers that I've already created for you. To the right of that is the texture set settings. If we scroll all the way down, we can see all of the different maps. So for the most part, uh, you should probably just leave this alone. Um, and then right above that is the size that you're currently working in. So this is the resolution. We're currently working in 2K. If your computer is running a bit slow, maybe you might want to set it to 1K. You can always export these textures out at 4K or 2K, whatever you prefer. Um, but if you want, you can just work in 1K. And lastly, we have our properties. In our properties, there are lots of different settings that we can change. We can change our brush size here again, along with some other settings. And then at the bottom, we have our material settings. So in Substance, you can change color, metalness, roughness, and we're going to ignore these two for now. And then there are some other ones as well. 
There are three main types of movement in Substance Painter, rotate, pan, and zoom in and out. To rotate, we're going to hold Alt and then left mouse button. And this will allow us to rotate all around our model. Then to pan, we're going to hold Alt again, middle mouse button. We should be able to pan around the model. And then lastly, to zoom in and out, hold Alt again, and then hold the right mouse button, and you should be able to zoom in and out. Another handy tip is to change the lighting. So if we uh, rotate around to the back of the model, it's completely in darkness right now. But if we want to rotate the light to the back of this, we're going to hold Shift and then right mouse button and drag. Now we can see the back of our model better. Okay, so we're going to go over what these different material settings mean. So to do that, I'm going to create a fill layer. So the first one is color. Color is pretty self-explanatory. It's just the color of the model. So we've made it red, so now the entire model is red. Next up is metallic. So this is a slider. Black means no metalness. We slide it all the way up to white. White is full metalness. So you can see it's fully metallic. Next one is roughness. Black means very shiny. And then white means very rough. All right, so now let's go over the two main layer types that you can use. The first one I already showed you is a fill layer, and the second one is just a regular layer. So let's add a layer by selecting this paintbrush right here. Okay, now the regular layer, you can have lots of different material settings within one layer. So if we want to have a blue brush stroke that's very metallic, we can do that. And then say we want to have on the same layer a green, non-metallic, and very shiny brush stroke. Now this is all on the same layer and we can toggle this layer off with this I button right here. Next up is a fill layer. To add that, just click the paint bucket. Now what a fill layer is going to do is it's going to fill the entire texture set with one material setting. So in a fill layer, we can select the base color. Let's say we want it to be red. very metallic, and pretty shiny. If we don't want that to be on the full model, we can add something called a layer mask. There are three kinds of layer masks. You have a white mask, a black mask, and a bitmap mask. The two most common ones would be a white mask and a black mask. A black mask is going to hide the entire um, fill layer, and then a white mask would do the opposite, which would show the entire fill layer. To paint on the mask, select the mask, and then start painting. So white would mean uh, visible, and then black is to hide it. Okay, now let's go over some different brush settings. Let's make another layer. And to change your brush, select this drop-down menu and go to the brushes. 
There are lots of different preset brushes in Substance Painter, so to select one, scroll down and choose one by double clicking it. If you want to change the size, go up here to this size slider and drag it up or down. If you want to make it less uh, opaque, you can decrease this right here. If you want to undo a stroke, hit Control Z. And lastly, if you want to erase, select the eraser and paint. Another really useful tool in Substance Painter is the Polygon Fill. So select that, and we're going to select the color. So there are three main types of polygon fill. The first one is called polygon fill, and that's going to fill in each of these little squares. So these are polygons right here, and it's gonna fill them in. The next one is uh, mesh fill. So because this head right here is one mesh, it's going to fill the entire mesh. Let's choose another color and select UV Chunk Fill. So this 2D mode right here is going to show your UVs. If we select a UV chunk, it's going to fill in the entire UV, and you can see that in your 2D mode here. There are also lots of other things in this asset library that can be useful like the material library. So let's select materials and choose a material. I'm going to go with brass. So if you want to use a material, just drag the material on to the texture set and it should be applied to the full texture set. Each material has its own uh, properties this one right here, you can play with the base color, metallic, and roughness sliders. Another useful thing in this library is alphas. So if we want to add an alpha, let's make another fill layer. We can make it green this time and add a black mask. Now we're going to select an alpha, so let's do this arrow, double click it, and scale it up. To apply it, just click like you are painting. If you want to paint in symmetry, go right up here and select the symmetry button. And now everything you do will be symmetrical. If your model isn't completely symmetrical, like some of mine with the hair, uh, this button can uh, be a little funky, but for the most part, it does a good job. All right, the last thing we're gonna go over is this button right here. This allows you to switch between different channels. So right now we're seeing the material mode and that's going to show all of the different channels all at once while it's affected by lighting. I often will texture my models in the base color channel because it lets me see what the avatar will look like in a lot of the shaders that I use. So right here we'll just see what the colors are. So there's no lighting, no shading, or anything like that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more of my tutorials, make sure to click on my channel and check them out. Bye!